This ring is all I have to return to you. I'm sorry. Oh. Ninette's wedding ring. Yes. Look at the engraving. Forever faithful, forever yours. Oh. Written in happier times. Where did you find it? It was on Ninette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. On her hand? Huh? I see. Well, maybe you should take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her death. Especially with her family asking questions. No. They're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. Where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand. So suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. So we're partners? That depends. You got the coin we need? I do have your coin, in fact. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? Didn't I tell you we could find a Grey Warden? Mother didn't raise a fool. Well, she didn't raise two of them. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one and go. Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready and we'll head out. Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Might be a good time to check back home. You'll be gone for a while, after all. There's a letter for you on the desk. won't clean itself, Uncle.
think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. I'm with you, sister. For now. When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father, she threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you, all three of you. Oh, Bethany. She was such a sweet little girl. Never cried. Just looked at you with those big eyes. She was so young to be taken from us. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down and... 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. Blame the Darkspawn, not yourself. The Darkspawn would have been happy with any prey. It was my fault it was Bethany. I... I miss her. There were four of us when the Blight began. It will never be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I've an audience for after Bartrand's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Bethany. But with luck, I can at least give us a home. Here to sell today, guardsmen. My shipment's late. Well, good luck to you then. Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks at least. Might be a good time to check back home. You'll be gone for a while after all. Another messenger came by with a letter. It's on the desk. So, what? Are you here to gloat? Gamlin's the idiot again. Gamlin's the fool who can't hold his money when it's given in a bloody silver basket. I tried, you know, when Leandra left. But no one was ever going to live up to her. 
I'm sure you did your best. Don't butter me up, sweetie. I changed their filthy sheets and wiped their chins through two bouts of the cholera, and the last word Father said was... Leandra. I'm not looking for love, but at least I got the money. I'm with you, sister. For now. He wasn't like this in Lothering. I think he misses the open fields. City life not agreeing with you. He just needs to get out more, don't you, boy? He's part of the family. I wouldn't want to lose him. Take it. I'm sick of what's-his-name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly, a Mabari understands what you say. Try using his name. What's wrong with Dog? Real easy to remember. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. <laughs> 